special economic zones were born from the idea of industrializing, building and bolstering the manufacturing capability of the country and therefore create an environment or make it easy for investors to invest in the country. The Oatambo International Airport SEZ focuses on what we've defined as high value lightweight production, meaning that our goal is to attract investment in industries that would utilize air freight as a mode of transport. Precinct 1 focuses on two key industries. Firstly, agro-processing. We are very proud of the work that we've done together with Into Food in that regard. We're a large private food company based in South Africa. We've got nine main production sites. We employ 8,500 colleagues. Everything we do is manufactured in South Africa. The majority is for the local market, but we also have significant exports, primarily the UK and into Australia and New Zealand. The Bonero facility, which is our flagship facility, was built five years ago. It's a phenomenal facility. It's situated here within the SEZ at Oatambo and built in partnership with the GIDZ. It's one of the largest fresh food businesses anywhere in the world and certainly one of the most complex with a number of products here. When I started working in the business, I decided I have to use the business as my university and then I have to ensure that there's a goal that I have to achieve. I started as a prep and then from technical quality control, they've moved me to quality control supervisor and then to quality services manager and then skill development facilitator where we train people. We recognise that if we want to grow the business, we've got to grow our people. We want our colleagues to be able to fulfil their aspirations within Interfood Group and that all lends itself to this growth mindset. It was the beginning of the factory. They asked me to run hygiene. We have to start a quality management system where we have to ensure that all our customer core of practice matches our processes in the factory. Then I worked in production as a production senior supervisor, planning, organizing, coaching. They said to me, Agnes, we want you to go to dispatch. That is how I've grown in this business and I love it because of it has more challenges. I'm learning a lot from that. The second industry is the jewelry manufacturing and that is born from the mineral beneficiation strategy of the country. So in present one, you've got the regulator, we've got state diamond traders, We've got jewellery cutters and polishers, and then we've got jewellery makers. So we've got that entire value chain um, clustered in one place. And it is one of the most amazing projects that I've ever been a part of. I'm the CEO of Pioneer Ten House. When I start doing the investigation, why I want to move here. Firstly, we've got the big floor space. And the incentive what you're getting here at the zone himself, we can take that incentive back to our prices. We can get more money for our diamonds, we can get more money for our producers, and at the end of the day, they can open up more mines in South Africa, create more jobs. The other benefit being here is we're close to the airport. It is the first jewelry manufacturing park which is located at an international airport in Africa as a whole. Every month, diamonds coming into the ten house. We clean it, we do the valuation, and then for about eight days, we've got people from all over the world coming into the ten hours, into Pioneer, on appointment, and they come and do the viewing. And after the 10 days, it's an online tenor process. So one of my main goals to achieve is to be a transparent tender house, and I think we achieve to be the best in the world on this. We've also done exciting work around SMME development and we've now set up an enterprise development hub through which we provide opportunities to young entrepreneurs to enhance their capabilities and skills. I am Isabel Bartma and I am a jewelry designer and manufacturer. I love jewelry designing and um, it has always been my passion. So I went to the open day activity. When I got there, um, I just, I was stunned seeing the flames flaring and metal being changed into wearable art. And that's where I took the decision of enrolling at TUT for jewelry design and manufacturing. 
After completing my national diploma in TUT, I got the opportunity to do a postgraduate program. That's where I got to learn how the industry works. And when I completed my GDP, I got to be part of a learnership called Design at 50. And um, when I was done with that, um, COVID started. And I was like, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna see what this whole entrepreneurship is gonna bring. That's where I started my baby Issa B. I started with my very first ranges. Uh, I got an opportunity to be part of the GEM program. I've learned so much. I got to do like a business course, things that I actually very much needed as an entrepreneur. And I got to learn new tricks on the bench. While I was still there, there was an opportunity that Woolworths SA introduced. And fast forward to today, I am part of the top 15 Woolworths Youth Makers competition winners. I'm hoping that my business will just grow. And when I just look at my journey, I'd say I'm really proud. I'm really proud for not giving up. I'm proud that I've persevered. I'm just super proud of the person I've become. As we move forward now, we are turning our attention to Otia Precinct 2, where we have 29 hectares that we are in the process of unlocking for investment uptake. We are quite excited about making the zone a home for the pharmaceutical and health cluster. There is a huge opportunity for South Africa and Africa to be able to produce these products for consumption on the continent. And with the African continental free trade area coming into being, it gives an opportunity for a huge market. Southern Implants started in 1988. Um, it was the first and only dental implant manufacturing company in South Africa. Probably one of the biggest exporting medical device companies in the country as well. I think the idea of a precinct for medical device manufacturing and pharmaceutical is actually a fantastic idea. A huge advantage is just your collaboration and communication. Being close together means that you can also see what capabilities each different unit has and how you can learn from them or utilize them. Having a VAT and tax incentives is obviously huge because when you've got these costs to export from your regulatory bodies, you'll be able to then rather allocate that money to the investment into your regulatory costs. And it just means that your barriers to entry then are significantly lower. Through doing that, of course, we promote industrialization, we promote job creation, we promote uh, socioeconomic development. And most importantly, we promote equitable access to healthcare products. I think there's huge potential for benefit and economic benefit for South Africa. And if you have an environment like this, you can really just start to create these jobs. So as the Oatambo SEZ, we've already started engaging with key players in the market to understand what are their needs, to understand what are their challenges and what can we do to ensure that as we get this cluster off the ground, we attend to the different aspects that would allow a manufacturer to be able to grow their business and export these products to the African continent or for that matter globally. As we develop this, what's key is public-private partnerships to respond to the different needs. What do we need to unlock from a regulatory or legislative uh, perspective? What do we need to unlock from an incentive perspective so that we allow the private sector party to focus on what it is that they do best, which is to manufacture? As a South African company and a proudly South African company, we have been full support of government putting together this project, especially because it will be a benefit to us and it will be a benefit to so many other companies in South Africa. In addition to Otia Precinct 2, we have another land parcel that we refer to as the Springs Precinct. This particular one focuses on production of fuel cells or platinum-related products, in addition to looking into alternative energy solutions, anything that would support the hydrogen economy. IPS Craft is co-developing uh, with a Central Energy Fund. So together we have a power purchase agreement uh, with the city of Egoruleni. We've also partnered with a Gauteng ITZ, uh, which presents an opportunity as an ideal um, a location because that reduces the developmental cost of the gas pipeline to our facilities. We can also power directly to industries surrounding that area. 
we've integrated different energy systems and we think that um, the future of energy systems is going to look like this. And therefore, uh, that ITZ presents an opportunity to create an energy sustainable industrial zone uh, that is able to power itself but in turn create employment and drive a regional trade or exports. We're quite excited that we've been able to contribute positively to the mineral beneficiation agenda in South Africa. It's been a journey of challenges and sleepless nights and difficulties, but at the end of it all, it stands. And that same resilience and excitement we want to bring to the next chapter of the Oatambo SEZ.